We take our vision for granted until we experience a problem with our eyes. And that's why it's so important to get help if you notice something going on. So let's meet a man who's enjoying a renewed quality of life after treatment for cataracts. Like many of us, Rabbi Stephen Mason is careful to get regular eye exams. It was during one of these visits that his doctor alerted him to a health issue. He was looking into my eyes, examining my eyes. He said, oh, you have cataracts. We'll track them and uh, watch them and see as they develop. A cataract is a cloudiness or an opacification of the lens, human lens of the eye. The lens is responsible for focusing the light from the front of the eye where it enters the eye to the back of the eye. As it gets to the point where it becomes yellow and cloudy enough to interfere with vision, we call it a cataractous lens. The greatest universal cause is just aging. There are certain diseases that can lead to cataracts. Trauma to the eye can cause cataracts. Sometimes even years later, one of the earliest manifestations of, of the symptoms of cataracts are what's called decreased contrast sensitivity. The ability to pick up a letter or an object in a background. I listened to that, uh, took it in. I was concerned at first. It wasn't until a few years later that Rabbi Mason began to notice some of those symptoms. In the work that I did and still often do, depended on my ability to read. It was hard to, getting harder to discern the letters of one from another, distinguish them one from another so that uh, uh, it was clearly more and more of an effort. The cataracts also began to impact his hobbies. I play the guitar, <laughs> and so if I had the, the sheet music at a little bit of a distance from me, it was harder to see it, harder to read it. It was, it was harder to do. I'd seen that his lens of his eye was becoming progressively more cloudy. It was starting to interfere with the quality of his life. That was really the, the reason that we made the decision together to go pursue cataract surgery. Dr. Rubenstein operated on Rabbi Mason's eyes one at a time, replacing his lenses with artificial ones to improve his vision. The lens implant, again, has been measured to be the correct power with our goal not only to restore clarity of vision, but also to give the patient a chance to actually see well without glasses. Completely uneventful, my recovery was easy and smooth. It took about a day, maybe two days, and the eye that had been operated on began to clear, and it was really a fantastic thing. Like having an HD TV implanted in my eyes. Everything came to life. And that included his sheet music. Playing somewhere and it's a little dark, it doesn't matter, I can see the, the music in front of me. Reading also became much easier. It's really very thrilling to be able to see things better and, and more clearly. Every place you go, the colors are different. It gives you just a chance to experience the world in a deeper way. I think it's important for people to understand that just because they develop a cataract isn't a sentence to poor vision the rest of their life. People should know that cataracts are fixable. You can actually do something about it. You and your physician can do something about it. And People ought to take a good, serious look at that to improve the quality of their lives.